pretty stressful. We, we want this to be over. Like, yeah. I'm an emotional wreck. I'm already like tearing up just knowing that he's in the same country. I'm <laughs> already crying. Lloyd and Mandy. We're digital nomads that have been traveling the world full time for the past year in search of somewhere to call home. For the past 12 months, we've knocked a ton of things off our bucket list, but the hardest thing for us has been being away from our dog Bear. But we think we may now finally be in a position to have him join us on our travels in North America. Okay, and how many people are traveling? Two. And what's the date? Saturday the 26th of November. Okay, so we are currently in New York at the moment. Um, we're supposed to be picking up Bear from LAX in just a few days, and we're trying to book a flight out of LAX to take Bear from there to Mexico with us to Cancun. And unfortunately, no airlines are accepting either dogs of his size or dogs at all as excess cargo, which is pretty stressful because we were told that this was like super easy and um, pretty straightforward for getting bear there, so we're we're pretty stressed out right now. We're not really sure what we're gonna do. We're just gonna be like literally stranded in LA with bear. So that's where we're at at the moment. Um, just gonna keep looking for flights and see if we can get bear home with us. Hello. <laughs> okay, we've just come to a pet shop here in Philadelphia. Um, just have to get Bear a, a new collar and a leash because he's going to show up with nothing. <laughs> Maybe some food or something. Yeah, he's probably going to be hungry as well. I don't know what else. Presents! <laughs> Okay, so we got a few things. We've been told that because the dogs do go to the toilet while they're in the crate, they might be a bit messy when they come out. A lot of times, probably the best thing to do is take them straight to a dog groomer's. Um, but we're gonna have to get him into a taxi in order to do that if we do decide we need to. So we've got dog baby wipes. <laughs> 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 Clean him up. We got him a ball because he loves a ball. We've got, this is like a really durable leash. I'm excited to try it. It looks too small, it looks, but it's apparently really strong. Yeah, it says that it can like withstand like 4,000 pounds or something crazy. So hopefully it can hold a bear. We've got him a microwave dinner. <laughs> of course we got him some treats. And doggy poo bags and a bowl. And as well. Be sad the color, but. I don't like the collar, but they didn't really have what we wanted in there, but that's okay. Temporary. Yeah. So, I think we're ready for it. We don't know what to expect. We're pretty anxious. <laughs> from Santa Monica Pier. Uh, we were supposed to be leaving tomorrow and Bear was meant to be here at 6 a.m. yesterday. Uh, flight got canceled because they couldn't regulate the temperature in uh, the cargo space where the dogs are and all the animals, so they pulled all the animals off. And then last night his flight got canceled again. Just got delayed. So hopefully he's getting on a flight today and hopefully he'll be here tomorrow. We might just end up having to stay in LA for a little while longer than we expected. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty stressful. We we want this to be over. Like, yeah. I, I knew this would be stressful, sort of waiting for him to get on the plane and come over. But having it dragged out has kind of made it a little bit worse. Way worse. So we have to rebook our next flights to Cancun and book him in to come with us again as well. But we're waiting to make sure till he's actually here in LA with us before we book anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we're just about to jump in an Uber to go to the pet store to get a new crate, travel crate for Bear to get on this Mexico flight because uh, Alaska Airlines has certain requirements about sizes and everything and the one that he's using from Australia to here is like a couple of inches too long. Everything else is fine. So unfortunately we have to buy a whole new um, travel crate. So hopefully this pet store has the right one. We're not sure. And it is Black Friday, so maybe we'll get a discount. It might be crazy busy as well. <laughs> we'll see. So honestly, one of the biggest struggles with this whole thing, getting Bear over here has been having to send money back home to Australia. Which if you've been following along with our channel, you know that we use PaySend for all of our international money transfers. PaySend is a money transfer platform that lets you send money to friends and family all over the world 24 seven from a laptop, tablet or smartphone. It made the process a whole lot easier for us because things kept coming up like having to get him vet checked or get him a new crate and we were able to send money right away uh, using PaySend which actually works a lot easier than traditional banking methods where sometimes you can be waiting four or five days to send money internationally. So basically how it works is they send the money using the local currency with no hidden fees or additional charges. PaySend always charges a fixed fee per international transaction regardless of the amount sent. All you need to know is the recipient's name, credit card number or bank details and you can send the money in minutes. And not only that but we were able to pay our landlord in Mexico for our apartment before we get there um, as a deposit which really helped us in knowing that we we're going to have a place for bear and the reason we were able to do that is because Paysen is completely safe they make sure all of your data and personal information is as secure as possible they even have a dedicated security team that works hard to keep all transactions safe so if you want to start using Paysen, it only takes a couple minutes to sign up you can use the website or the mobile app just add your card as funding and you can start sending money around the world in a flash if you are interested in trying Paysen, click the link in the description and use our code Lloyd Mandy because for the first three transactions you won't be charged any fee that's three fee-free transactions. All right, now back to the video. It's so nice and warm here after spending the last week in New York and Philadelphia. Holy shit, this is so nice. I can't believe this is November. I just realized I left my sunglasses in the Uber today, which sucks. I've had those for like three or four years and they're prescription sunglasses. That was a pretty good run though. Three years? What's the longest you've ever kept yours for? <laughs> like a week? <laughs> yeah. This is my second pair of these ones and they're only seven dollars. <laughs> so we're just walking from uh, Santa Monica Pier to Venice Beach. It's like a 45 minute walk. It's actually really nice though. And it's very entertaining. <laughs> I can't believe how busy it is. I don't know if it's usually this busy. We have been here before, but it feels hectic at the moment.
everywhere that we've been in America has felt like we've been in a movie. <laughs> it has not let us down. It's been unreal. <laughs> I love it here. This is the biggest beer I've ever had. 32 ounce. This is my favorite before I moved away. I love orange beer or any fruity beer. Shot top. Oh, so ended up being the most unexpected nice day down the beach in Venice. Hey? Yes. I think maybe there's a reason we uh, got held up here for an extra day. It was meant to be just like a one night layover but yeah, the universe had other plans. Yeah. We've just arrived at uh, Qantas Freight, which is like near LAX. I guess they bring beer over here after he arrives. I just have to wait for some paperwork and then jump in another Uber to customs and get him all cleared. And then Uber back here and we can take him back to the hotel. Our biggest issue at the moment is trying to find an Uber that's pet friendly but also big enough to fit his crate. But I'm sure we'll be fine. There's a lot of unknowns. I don't really know what to expect when we see him. I don't know how he's gonna react. I don't know if he's going to be happy to see us, if he's gonna be like not in a good way because he's been in a crate for probably like 18 hours now or something, whatever it is. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but as long as he gets here and he's safe and he's healthy, that's all that really matters. We'll figure the rest out. Alright, Bear's just cleared customs and we're just waiting here at the uh, US Customs Office for another Uber to go back and pick him up. How you feeling, Andy? I'm an emotional wreck. I'm already like tearing up just knowing that he's in the same country. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> It's honestly been rough like the last few days and then last night knowing he was on a plane, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to relax, too much unknown. I don't really know what to expect when we see him, but I'm sure he's fine. It's okay, you can get back. Hey, Bear! Bear! Bear, come here! Hey, buddy. Come you okay? Come here, buddy. Bear, come here. Bear. Come here. Is he okay? Bear. He's so hey. <laughs> You fat boy. Bear. Hey. Yes. Yes. Hi, honey. Hi. You traveling doggy.
So we've been back in Playa del Carmen now for about a week, over a week, and Bear's been settling in pretty nice. <laughs> I'm not sure he even knows that he's in another country. The climate here at the moment is pretty much the same as as Australia. It's cooled down a lot since we were here in uh, August. It's really good climate. It's so nice. It's been perfect. He was a bit of a weirdo the first day. I think he was jet lagged and didn't really understand where he was. But day two, it's just been like back to normal. Same old bear. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffing everything. Yeah, he seems really happy. Did not miss sandy towels. <laughs> not a fan of the drone yet, baby. Look at the towel and look at our toy that we found. <laughs> you found a toy? Yeah, this old sandal. <laughs> we really like it. <laughs> Uh, so all in all really happy that we did this and got bear over it was like the biggest hurdle we kind of our biggest goal that we've had since we've been traveling we wanted to be able to do this so it feels like we've really like achieved something big for us it was very stressful probably the most stressful thing I've ever done we are going to do another video sort of explaining the steps and how we went about everything um, in greater detail the experience itself was so stressful it was hard to film at a lot of um, certain times so we thought we would release the vloggy style video first and then we'll we'll share all the information if you are considering doing it think really hard about what's best for you and your family I uh, we had quite a few negative comments about us doing it but we just had to do what was right for us and our dog even though it was very stressful and I don't ever want to do it again it was 100% worth it bears had no issues he's completely happy he's back to his old self it's almost like we never left him yeah it was hard being away from him and um now that we're back i feel like we can slow down a little bit and just enjoy what we're doing right now because we have our dog back yeah buying the van was a big part of getting him back because that gives us the opportunity to keep traveling with bear we don't have to keep getting on planes all the time we can travel around all of north america possibly even south america yeah with bear so thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you want to know uh, how to move your dog overseas uh, future videos and we will see you guys in the next one bye